and we back. Now today we're doing something that is very reminiscent of all the way back in the NBA 2K16 years. Listen, I know some of y'all were around then and y'all still around today. I love you for that. Uh, we used to have this thing named the Ringless Challenge, where I went throughout some of the best players in history to never get a ring. We're talking about Allen Iverson, Tracy McGrady, so on and so forth. And I helped them get a ring. But one player I actually didn't do it's Vince Carter. And I've been saying it in my comment section recently that y'all want to see me help Vince Carter get a championship. So, VC, you've been around for 20 plus years and I'm here to help you out. Like, when he was a free agent like two years ago, I was hoping and praying that he would sign with the Warriors. I just wanted to see Vince Carter get some jewelry as the last thing on his checklist. But that man is too loyal to the soil. He resigned to the Atlanta Hawks who were bad, but he just liked the team and his teammates so much. You got to you gotta commend him for that. But in today's video, I'm helping Vince Carter. Carter. Now, the original idea comes from ASAP Max in my comment section. It's got 2,400 likes, which tells me y'all want to see me help a lot of ringless guys get rings. But his challenge is cool, but I'm going to throw my own little twist to it. But let me show you what he said. Vince Carter must play 25 minutes a game. Does not have to start, though. You know what? I'm going to have him start because I think it'll be funny to see 40-year-old Vince Carter trying to guard uh, Kevin Durant, LeBron James. So I'm going to have him start. That just adds another element to the challenge. Second, every player player on your team has to ring, be ringless. I'm cool with that. We'll leave that how it is. Every player on your team has to currently play for a team Vince Carter played for in his career. Now, I think you're going to the right spot, but I'm going to switch it a little bit. Because if I just leave it at currently play for them, I can only make trades with like eight teams. How about they had to play for that team at some point in their career? So they could have played for the Suns 20 years ago, but I could still trade for him because he got a little bit of Suns DNA. And then um, the last thing something I'm adding is that in this fantasy draft, I have to take Vince Carter first. So we're not guaranteed to star off the rip and I actually have to do some rebuild. And so it should be a relatively tough challenge, but I'm here to help Vince Carter get that jewelry. Be sure to leave a like on the video. As we always say, you guys have been destroying the like button. If you missed the video from this weekend, it was a banger, a car video. And I know some of y'all love those and maybe you missed it. So link is in the description. Also, of course, leave a like. All right, we got the Portland Trailblazers who end up having the 18th pick. Now, instead of getting Russell Westbrook, Pascal Siakam, Klay Thompson, Bradley Beal, Ben Simmons, and so on, we're getting the oldest player in the league, 42-year-old Vince Carter. They got him playing power forward. We're going to switch him to small forward because I don't want my 6'6 player playing power forward. Either way. All right, so that is the other GMs are looking at me like, the Trailblazers hired this dude to take over their team? Yes, they did, because I know what the heck I'm doing. So we'll see what the rest of the roster looks like in a couple seconds. Uh, yeah, man, Vince Carter's a cool dude. I feel like uh, most of NBA fandom love Vince Carter. And uh, I know a lot of Raptors fans hated him for a while. But I'm, I'm hoping that they're starting to come around. You know, it's been a long time since all of that happened, right? Can we just admire Vince Carter? And, uh, yeah, he may have taken his last NBA jump shot, which is sad to say. So we're going to make him a small four. Look at that. 73 overall Vince Carter. Beautiful. Wait, who's on my team? Montrez. Paul Millsap. Kelly Oubre, it's just like the man is following me in every video. Alfred Payton, Trey Burke, this team sucks. This team is really bad. But that's okay because we're here for a rebuild. All right, so let's look at our pieces. Remember that everybody on my team had to at some point play for a team that Vince Carter played for. And they didn't have to play at the same time. You know, he, they don't have to be former teammates. But if a, like I could trade for Pascal Siakam because he plays for the Raptors and Vince Carter used to play for the Raptors. You know what I'm saying? I just like that. So technically, I could trade for Kawhi. You know what I'm saying? I could trade for Devin Booker. Let me think about some of the best players. KD, Kyrie because of the Nets. Dwight Howard. Uh, that's weird that Dwight Howard is the first name to come to mind for the Magic. But, you know, I guess it kind of makes sense. So there are a lot, a lot of options here because these are some decent franchises. So let's try to make some trades. First thing we got to do is make Montrez Harrell a point. Nah, I power forward. Um, Paul Millsap at small forward goes down. I was just very curious about that. And I'm just testing all of these. How do we do this? Is there a certain player we want to go after first? I like the idea of trade for Pascal Siakam, honestly. So let's go find Pascal. I want to at least try to get one. Oh, okay. They got nothing. All right. So he plays for the Nets. Who's on their roster? Clint Capella. They got a lot of guards, so I can't give them a I'll give you Montrez Harrell to start off with. Money doesn't match because Pascal Siakam's contract doesn't kick in the next year. You give us back Etuan Moore. I'll give you back. I'll give you back uh, Malik Monk. I know you want Malik Monk. And then a first. One first round pick. And a second. And one more second. If you don't like that, then we can't have a deal. All right. So that's, you know what? That's no big deal. What we can do is literally go through 
every single player say, hmm, did he play 14? Did he play 14? Like, Kevin Durant, obviously, we could trade for, but we know that that man is untouchable in every single uh, instance. Uh, the best player I can see that's not untouchable um, and works for the challenge is Kyrie Irving. Now, trading for Kyrie Irving is going to be almost impossible, but we'll try our best. We got Montrez and Paul Millsap are two bigs. That's not enough, obviously, but we got picks. You know, I know y'all want picks. I know y'all want picks. I know y'all want picks. All right, so they just wanted a bunch of picks. And we did that with just giving up two first rounders, which is which is pretty good. So Kyrie Irving is the point guard of the present and the future. So now we need our get our bigs up because now we got three point guards and, and no bigs. Uh, Harry Giles is the only guy who does fit the challenge because, you know, Sacramento Kings. But let's see, big men that can help us out. Now, we can't go crazy because we just used a bunch of assets to get Kyrie. I think we just build an overall solid roster. We don't need to be extremely, extremely amazing. Like, Dwight Howard is a guy that I could definitely trade for any place for the Lakers. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. And if, if he's not starting for us, he could be a great bench center, which is basically what he is in real life right now. They want Kelly Oubre. That is not happening. But it does fit the challenge because Harrison Barnes plays for the Kings. And you know what? Fine. Fine. Kelly Oubre is going to Sacramento as we get Dwight Howard. So at the moment, this is what our team looks like. And it is bad, bad, bad to the bone. And obviously, it does hurt that we uh, had to take Vince Carter with the first pick. But that's part of the talents, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're here for. So I think at this point, we just do trade finder, see what pops up. And then when we get a player that fits the challenge, maybe we make that deal. We only have one first round pick remaining, which is kind of kind of scary, kind of sad. This is a grand slam of a trade. Uh, Harry Giles, Yamahimi for John Collins. Obviously, they're, they're teammates right now. You know what I'm saying? Vince Carter and John Collins. So, that is a deal. We get younger and better at our four position. Vince Carter is still our guy right now. You know? Um, we still have HB to trade. We still got some young players like Malik Monk. And Malik Monk's trade value in 2K is usually pretty high. Even though in real life, the man ain't really done much in his career so far. But you know what? Anything could change. You know, his next destination can help him out a lot. And right now, Drummond does not fit. Uh, we don't need Hassan Whiteside does not fit. Just got to keep thinking about who played for what teams in their career. This is a wild, wild trade, and it doesn't fit the challenge, but we're trading for John Wall, and we're about to flip John Wall. Watch me work my magic. Now, his contract is absolutely ridiculous, but we're going to make it work because we're throwing in Musa. Musa, who? Yes, in that first round pick we just got. Watch us work the magic. And we're trading for a player that fits it. Two players that fit it. Jared Allen. And DeMar DeRozan, obviously DeMar with the Raptors and Jared Allen with the Nets. Uh, you know what? I thought I was going to hit a bigger splash than that, but that was the best trade available. And you know it is what it is. Maybe we're going to make him a shooting guard. Unless we want to make... Hold on. Where's Vince Carter? Vince Carter cannot play shooting guard. DeMar DeRozan got the run shooting guard for us. So we have DeMar and Kyrie. And you know what? I, I'm not saying that DeMar is safe. I'm definitely not saying DeMar is safe. We traded back for Kelly Oubre. Obviously, it works because he plays for the Suns right now. And Kelly Oubre is going to come off our bench because uh, Vince Carter is our starter. So that helps our rotation a little bit. Uh, we get a nice th uh, D and three guy. Three and D? D and three. Same thing. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no changeable. It's the same letter and number. So that's cool. Um, our bench is still trash. So, so trash. So how do we get this better without any picks? I'm kind of regretting trading for Kyrie Irving just because of the amount of picks we had to throw in to make that trade possible. And, but if I look at the trade finder, there's nothing that's going to... You know what I'm saying? Nothing that's he, that's better than him is what I'm saying. There's nothing that's better than him or that can makes us more real rounded. So I think we're stuck with him. John Collis is fire. I'm okay with him. DeMar DeRozan, ah, you know what I'm saying? Ah, I, I would rather not have him at this point. I don't know why I traded for him. The D'Angelo Russell one is cool, but I can't give up Dwight Howard because he's one of our centers. Like how? Chris Middleton, Pistons, and then the Bucks. So that doesn't work. All right, D'Angelo Russell's coming to the team. Easy. Easy trade there. And D'Angelo Russell as a shooting guard gets better. Um, defensively, we gonna, we're going to struggle with this lineup. I'll tell you that much. We're going to struggle defensively. But, it, I mean, we were going to struggle with DeMar defensively too. So, I guess it's a slight upgrade. Um, more of a more fun player to watch, in my opinion. And that's what we're, we're here for, right? Forget about winning championships. We're here to have fun. It's tough. It's tough. The rest of this roster is so bad, and I don't know how to get it much better because we don't have the picks for it. I if I could restart this rebuild, I wouldn't trade for. Um, I would not not trade for Kyrie Irving. I would trade it for somebody else that maybe didn't take as many assets. Because right now we're struggling. Lou Williams. I'm trying to think. 76ers, Clippers, Houston, Atlanta. He did play in Atlanta. He did play in Atlanta for a little bit, so we'll make that deal. 
And we talking about having a team full of defensive liabilities. We just traded for Lou, <laughs> Lou Williams too. So now what we have to do to make Vince Carter the starting small forward is we got to go to Kelly Oubre and tell them to force non-starter for one season. And then watch this, watch this. We do this. Boom. Vince Carter's in the starting lineup. Beautiful. Beautiful. Vince Carter's in the starting lineup. And this is what our roster looks like right now. I don't hate it. I definitely don't love it, though. I tell you that much. I definitely don't love it. Let's do some simulation and see how good or bad we are. Two and one, three and one, you know. It ain't looking terrible. Wait, first of all, we have to make sure everybody fits the challenge. I forgot. Vince Car yes, all right. Um, yes. Pat Connaughton does not. Pat Connaughton has to get moved. Dante Exum has to get moved. So those are just the last two guys we got to trade real quick. Uh, for just anybody. Traded for Damari Carroll for Pat Connaughton. Shout out to Pat Connaughton. Really cool dude. And then lastly, who was it? Dante Exum had to be moved. I forgot Dante Exum is making $9 million a year. Jesus Christ. Um, what do we need? I'm just out here accepting trades without really thinking about what we need. Uh, we really don't need anything. So we could just trade him for another shooting guard. I guess it don't matter too much. So we'll go back. Do we have any more picks attached to him? Yes. Go for a backup shooting guard or something. And I, I, yeah, again, it doesn't really matter too much. Robin Lopez, definitely not a student guard, but again, it didn't matter. All right, so that's better. Vince Carter is cold, by the way. Big fella, we trying to help you get a championship, my G. We need you to play just a little, just a little bit better. We ain't asking for you to be an all star. Just be a little bit better. What is our system? Perimeter central work. Okay, we're gonna go back to simulator and see how things go. We have to fill the roster. Okay, um, we can sign Joe Kim Noah because Joe Kim Noah played for the Grizzlies. And who else played for the Grizzlies once upon a time? Vince Carter. We actually need a couple more people to fill out our roster. So let's see. Who else? Uh, Mike Scott. Sure. Why not? Just keep just bringing anybody. They These people ain't getting minutes anyway. Cal Corver. Sure. You remember, he was an all-star for Atlanta back in the day. All right. Let's see how good or bad we are. Because, oh, actually, I knew they were going to do this. I knew they were going to put... Kyle Corver in the starting lineup. That's not what this challenge is. It's not the hot sauce challenge. It's the half man, half amazing challenge. Anyway, mm, let's just watch the simulation until like around here. And if things start to get bad, we'll do some flipping and some assets. But, oh boy. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Yes, this is not going to work out. We're going to have to trade Kyrie Irving. We're going to have to trade Kyrie. And we get, he's the only piece... I mean, a man is having an amazing season. He's having an amazing season. D'Angelo Russell's having a good season, too. How do we make this team better? I think, legit, I think it has to be one of these two guys. Jalen Brown doesn't fit, but otherwise, man, that's a deal. All right, Devin Booker's getting traded for Amari Spellman. Fits the challenge, too, because he played in Atlanta. I mean, that's just more of a traditional shooting guard. I don't... Stop putting Cal Corbin in the starting lineup, please. Oh, Vince Carter's, like, dead tired. He's like, please, coach. These 42-year-old legs can't take this many minutes. He's shooting 36% from the field. Come on, Vince. Come on. Just, just turn back the clock a couple times this year. So far, his season high is 14. Um, but, yeah, we get a more traditional shooting guard in Devin Booker. And I'm still, you know what I'm saying? I'll test Kyrie Irving. We'll go back to simulating, and hopefully that trade helps us out. There's a win. There's a win. There's a win. There's a win. All right, that's all we needed to get D'Angelo Russell out of town. I wouldn't even trade it for him if I knew he was going to be the problem. But yeah, okay, so we're starting to pile together some wins. Do I feel like we're a championship team right now? We, well, we just went on three-game losing streak, and uh, that's not a good sign. But I, you know what? You know what? My boys can do it. I bet we're a bad defensive team. If I had to take a guess, I bet we're not very good defensively. Let's see. Points allowed? Oh, you know what? We're not bad. We're not bad. Our point differential is not the best. Uh, 5.6, but we're working on it. It does hurt that we have a 42 year old man the 43 year old man now i'm sorry starting a small forward but it is what it is do we make him i'm gonna make him the number one option for just just a few games just a few games what what could possibly happen this first game we put up so many points with him as the number one option look at him seven he put up seven but the rest of the squad took off all right we'll do one more game and then that's it then i'm done i'm done we'll take him but look we put up so many points with Vince Carter as the number one option. Let's keep going. Look at that. Look at that. But he still cannot get it to. He shot two for 15. Come on, Vince. All right, we're going to take him out as number one option. But I think we're ready. I think we're ready to win a championship. Because, I mean, we're, we're past the trade deadline anyway. It's not much we can do. All right, so Luca puts up Luca ridiculous numbers. Uh, John Wall won six man of the year. 
I think he was backing up De'Aaron Fox, <laughs> which two fast, two fast players. You know what I'm saying? Kawhi defense player of the year, yada yada yada. Terry Stotts was coach of the year, which is beautiful for us because obviously Terry Stotts is our coach. All right, let's see. Do we have any All NBA players? Portland, Portland, Kyrie Irving. I mean, how did how was he not in MVP conversations? Best team in the league, 26 points per game, six and a half assists, and then also 50, 40, 90. He's got to win MVP. But then again, then again. He was going up against this stat line. How is it possible for this man to average a 40-point triple-double? Almost. Almost. And almost his 50-40-90 club, bro. Is this what we can look forward to for Luka in his career? Or is 2K bugging? Either way, we were the best team out west, at least. I don't know if that was entire league. We're tied with the Raptors, who have Steph Curry, Buddy Hill, Trevor Ariza. Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's look at Vince Carter. He averaged five points per game, three rebounds, one assist, almost a steal, and he shot horrifically from everywhere. Literally. Couldn't hit a free throw, couldn't hit a three, couldn't hit a field goal. Uh, but this challenge is about you. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even score. He scored more points last season than he did this season, and he played 10 plus minutes this season. He just couldn't do anything. The age, man. Turnovers are ridiculous. 100? Listen, that's almost as many turnovers as when he was in his prime. Three-pointers he couldn't hit. Fouling. He couldn't. He was a hack. He could guard nobody, bro. He couldn't guard any. I mean, what do we expect from a 43-year-old basketball player when he's matched up against some of the best of the best? Utah, he'll be guarding John Isaac. In 2K, John Isaac sucks. But Giannis is on this team. And I accidentally went to play. And we have to wait for this whole animation. This whole animation. Bro, okay, any of y'all watch 2K TV? I was in a team up thing with Troy Dan, Cash Nasty, Los Polos, uh, Annoying TV, Duke Dennis, who else was in there? Uh, Davis, uh, Ticino. It was 10, 10 people in LD 2K. And LD 2K did a little thing about it on 2K TV. And I was like, oh snap, he's about to give me a shout out because me and LD 2K dominated them games. <laughs> He called me 1-3 Eachum. He didn't call me KLT for Q. He didn't call me Kenny, which he referred to me as Kenny in Discord. He didn't call me, he called me 1-3 Eachum. Because my gamer tag on Xbox is 1-3 Eachum because, you know, 1 and 3, th the number 13 looks like a B in my last name. Either way, LD, I'm disappointed that you didn't call me by my name. Anyway, uh, enough of that. 2 up, 2-0 oh on Giannis. They win a game. But we're up 3-1. We don't blow those. And we get to the next round of goal against Phoenix, who have Devin Booker. We have Devin Booker. They have Donovan Mitchell and Kemba Walker. Vince Carter, this game, matched up against Josh Jackson. So you can take plays off defensively. We ain't got to worry about Josh Jackson, Vince Carter. Let's go. Let's go, VC. We're almost there to 6 C Golden State Warriors. Oh, you're guarding Tobias, and he's, a, he's bigger than you are. Yeah, he's, yes, yeah, you may have some trouble. This team got all the way to the conference finals. Interesting, interesting. Let's see how this goes. We win game one. How's Vince playing? You know what? Not bad, not bad, Vince. Good job, good job. Keep it keep it up. We're almost there. We're up 3-0. We're in the championship to go against Ben Simmons, Zach Levine, Otto Porter, Christian Wood, and Steven Adams. So you're guarding Otto Porter, so it means that you just got to sit in the corner, bro. Listen, Vince Carter, you're almost there. Three games, four games away. Game one is a win. Vince Carter, welcome to the elite of the elite of NBA players to win a championship. Kyrie Irving, thank you for hitting clutch buckets once again. And he does retire after that, ladies and gentlemen. He calls it a career after raising the trophy the first time in his. He's going to go to the Hall of Fame. And Hall of Fame inductees, Vince Carter. Mwah, beautiful. That is a perfect way to end the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a like. Shout out to my boy Vince Carter. If you are watching this, Obviously, this is a virtual video game. I can't help you get a ring in real life, but it'll be cool to sit down and talk. You know what I'm saying? I got a show on House of Highlights. We react to highlights, and uh, I know you got a lot of them because I reacted to your highlights on my reaction channel. Link in the description. All right, I'm out. Peace.